the government is allegedly losing billions of shillings in suspicious land compensation claims. In an open letter to the president, a whistleblower claims that the government could lose in excess of 11.6 billion shillings in fictitious compensation by the National Lands Commission to a well-connected cartel working with proxies at the expense of poor legitimate claimants. Hassan Mugambi has the details. In one of the compensation claims, a coast-based company was irregularly paid 1.4 billion shillings in compensation for a piece of land in Miritini, an award which was successfully challenged by the Land Commission. And the court ordered for a refund of the money as it was meant for another family. But as NLC awaits to reclaim the 1.4 billion shillings, the said tycoon moved to court to claim for more and has now been awarded 2.4 billion shillings. Never mind that the land which they are being compensated belongs to a different family according to NLC records. Even as NLC is shrouded in the ministry, a whistleblower has written to President William Ruto to expose yet another racket which could cost the taxpayer 11.6 billion shillings. Tisha's land compensation scam. In a four-point letter to the president, the whistleblower claims that the cartel deeply entrenched in the National Lands Commission is crafting a plot to rob the Kenyan exchequer 11.6 billion shillings. The letter linked the cartel to land fraud targeting the standard gauge railway SGR compensation worth 8 billion shillings, stating that the syndicate claimed over 60% of the Mazera's land in Kilifi County. According to the letter, should this pass, over 30 individuals are said to miss out on government compensation. Citizen TV sought clarification from the National Lands Commission. Commission Chair Gashom Otachi refuting claims of such a compensation plan. Now that that uh, preposterous figure is not anything that I know anything about. It's not anything that the commission knows anything about. And if we had the benefit of of the detail of who the claimants are, uh, we would be able to provide a better answer. But be that as it may, there is no such uh, proposed uh, compensation, no such valuation of 8 billion uh, in that part of the region. Additionally, the letter to the president claims the cartel claimed ownership of the Mombasa International Airport Access Road and is poised to receive 295.9 million shillings in compensation from the government. The commission, however, says that is a case before the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. And no, to the best of my knowledge, is it subject of a uh, ongoing compensation by the Commission. Uh, I do know that there is, a, there is a, a court case that is filed by ESCC to recover uh, some land around that area. The letter also claimed that the very same cartel claimed they own Meritini Mangrove Forest, Foreshore Conservancy and wants the Kenya Railways Corporation to pay via the NLC for apparently using the land. The claimant wrote indicating that Kenya Railways would lose 1.4 billion shillings from this scheme. Land is that it appears to have been um, allocated after the acquisition process had started which in itself was something somewhat irregular. And we have raised all these issues. So this is a, a contested in the sense that this is not land that will be the subject of compensation. Otachi warning that the commission is on high alert through their processes to separate the cartels from bona fide owners of land subject to compensation. If there are people out there planning to see if they can reap where they did not so that is different. And uh, for us, because we follow the law, the processes and the law, if there is a request by an acquiring entity, we follow the process and uh, ascertain that land is a subject of compensation. The National Lands Commission is in court battling several claimants. Some cases have been concluded with the commission filing an appeal in the latest case that saw the court rule that it pays off 2.6 billion in compensation. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.